Hey guys, today I'm going to be talking to you about grooming a puppy for the first time. And um, for the first time for you as a pet owner, it can be pretty difficult because you don't really know what to do and what not to do. But we're going to talk about all this in this video. So right now, my puppy Teddy, he's pretty sleepy, which is the ideal time to do this. As he'll be pretty much perfectly still. <laughs> or at least a lot uh, less full of energy than he would be other times of the day. So the first thing you really want to teach your puppy that is that it's really no problem to get brushed. And um, for brushing, I really recommend getting a brush like this because for me, I don't know, it just works a lot better, it catches the hairs a lot better and it's a lot easier to brush out his puppy coat than in a brush like this. I don't know, I just don't really like this at all. So basically, um, you just, you know, start by brushing him and be sure to praise him that it's, uh, he's doing great and it's not a problem in brush and, you know, it should feel great. And because he's so sleepy right now, he doesn't even mind and this is not the first time that I've brushed him either, either which is why he's pretty relaxed about it now. But uh, the first time around he wasn't like this, he was, you know, biting and trying to figure out what was happening because he had never experienced that before. So um, what you can do is just, you know, take a few treats and you know, distract him, maybe if you have two people available then one of you can keep him distracted while the other one is brushing him and that way he connects being brushed with lots of treats and that's a positive thing <laughs> and that's nothing for him to be scared about or, you know, it's not a big deal. So, you know, you just, for the first time, brush him you know, I just do it a minute probably and then do it again the next day and, you know, just continue doing it regularly so that he knows that uh, he learns that it's not a problem, you can do it whenever and he's going to be relaxed about it and not biting you or anything. And, you know, even though he's sleeping right now, probably shows he doesn't like when I do his paw, but it shows that it's not a problem for him, he's not scared of it or anything, he's just fine with me brushing him. Puppies generally lose their puppy coat when they're, you know, about six months old, and Teddy is about five months old now, so, um, He's still losing some of his puppy coat, but he's lost a lot of it already, which is why you're supposed to brush your puppy to lose the puppy coat, so that it doesn't get tangled with his um, adult coat and then mats and things like that. Yeah, he's sleeping. <laughs> Are you cute? So yeah, you want to do it as long as it takes for your puppy to get used to it and after a few times your puppy will probably also look like this and not care at all anymore and just enjoy it because lots of dogs also enjoy being brushed. Because it's kind of a, like, like a massage really and it's not supposed to, it's not, you're not hurting him or anything. It only really hurts if um, they have lots of stuff tangled in their hair, which you know, he doesn't right now. See now he's kind of more awake and trying to figure out what this is. And this is probably what your puppy's going to be doing the first time you're biting it, trying to take it away from you, trying to see what it is you're doing and what this is and what you're doing to him and things like that. But the first time you can just let him explore and see that it's not hurting him, it's no big problem to be brushed and it's all great. And if your puppy is, you know, moving around a lot, you can take a few treats and just distract him. 
while you're brushing them and you'll have a positive connection with being brushed and knows, you know, some and maybe even get excited that he knows, oh, I'm going to get treats now because she's going to brush me. And that way you get a positive connection instead of being scared and running away when he's about to be brushed. This is also a great exercise if you want to take your dog to the groomer later and don't want to cut him, cut him yourself because um, the groomer is also going to um, brush your dog and your dog will already be used to it which is going to make the groomer's life a whole lot easier and it's going to uh, have your puppy a whole lot stressed as well. Yeah. <laughs> Are you tired? But see, he's not really minding that I'm brushing him, so it's all good. Yeah. See, even at five weeks, he's pretty much lost all his puppy coat. There's not a lot of hair that's inside the brush. It's only a little bit. But it's also only this little, little because I just cut him a few weeks ago um, because he was really suffering under the heat. And after I cut off, cut off a lot of his hair, he was feeling a lot better. He was like a totally new dog, you know. Um, before he'd run around because, you know, he'd run around um, because he didn't know what to do with himself in the heat. Yeah, now he's figured out that I have treats. Um, he'd um, not know what to do with himself in the heat. He'd look for cold places to lie down. and He was generally just a less calm dog than he is now. Now he's, you know, sleeping here. It's not a problem. <laughs> He's not looking for places to calm down anymore, uh, to cool down anymore. He's just, he's feeling a lot better with a short coat. So after you've brushed him, um, you can of course, um, <laughs> of course, um, give him a bath, which you should also do multiple times before you take him to the groomer or before you, know, you decide to cut him yourself, if that's what you want to do. And be sure to give him lots of treats and praise him that he's doing well and um, that uh, showering is not a big deal. The first time when I um, washed Teddy, he was scared. He was just trying to get out and get away from the water. He was totally weirded out by the weird noise the uh, shower made. The water wasn't that big of a deal, it was more the sounds that came out of the shower that he was afraid of and he just wanted to get away as quickly as possible. So he always tried to you know, climb up uh, onto me and over me to get out of the shower. But you know, the first time I already thought, oh this is going to be hell if it's going to be this, this way each time I have to shower him, but you know, after a few times he got a lot calmer, he knew that it's not a problem, it's not going to hurt him, it's going to be fine, and yeah, then he was, <laughs> he was a lot better while I was showering him. But that also had to do with the fact that I was training him that water itself is not a problem, um, because um, before that, he wasn't really properly introduced to you know water and swimming, and all those things. So I always threw his treats in water so that he could you know dive for them and get them, and that way he slowly learned. Uh, water, oh, it's not a big problem. You know, it's just wet, and then whatever, I'm wet, so who cares. And after that, things started getting a lot better, and in the shower, um, he'd even start drinking the water um, from the shower, you know, by sticking his head in it and 
he just he doesn't care anymore at all. He loves the water now. But of course every start is hard and difficult and it's it's gonna get better from there. Yeah. So if your puppy is doing that as well, I just recommend just be patient, it's gonna be better. It just takes a few, you know, times for your puppy to get used to it, to know that it's fine, it's not a big deal. Yeah. Yeah, I love water now, don't you? <laughs> oh, treats. So, uh, the next thing, of course, the groomer is going to do is to cut your dog. And if you want to do this at home, you can. Um, I also did this with Teddy when he was absolutely overheating during the summer. Um, all you really need is a pair of sharp scissors. It doesn't really matter if they're um, meant to cut hair or not. All that really matters is that they're really sharp, uh, which is also why you have to be careful when cutting. Um, what you really want to do is have your dog in a position maybe even like this. Oh, <laughs> that's not what I meant. Yeah. Um, in a position like this where you can maybe sit behind him and I'll be the person that's trying to distract him with treats so that one person can be cutting and the other one can be distracting your dog. Um, but the first time you're going to do this, do you want to you know, introduce the scissors to him and show him that what, what you're doing? And you might try to bite it or lick it or just see what this is all about. Even though he already knows the scissors, he's still you know, looking them and yeah, um, then you know, you just want to, you have to start cutting somewhere, but I suggest that you start cutting at his paws, the best way to do this, to do this is to uh, gently, you know, just flip him on his side, have one person distracting him, and then cutting underneath his paws, cutting those hairs off, because um, in the winter, snow can get tangled in them and it's really uncomfortable for the dog. And even in the summer, stuff can get tangled in them. Um, and then your dog has to walk on it, which can be, um, you know, uncomfortable for them. Yeah. Uh, so what I really did is I started cutting from the, his paws up. So I started at the paws and then I went up his leg. And honestly, I didn't even really um, measure anything. I just did it from my eyesight uh, because I knew kind of what I was going for and I just had to cut all his fur, all his hair equally, which is pretty difficult for doing it the first time. Even now, he still has some um, strands of hair that are longer than others and um, because of his teddy bear look and uh, his wavy coat in general, you can't really tell, which is of course a good thing for me. Um, and if you've worked yourself up, you can you know do the back, and then I'd probably go to the face um, because your dog still needs to be um, you, your dog shouldn't be restless when you're cutting his face because you know it's a pretty delicate area which you want to get right because if you don't get it right and then your dog has to run around like that for you know the next few months and people are going to see and you know talk to you about it and that can be uncomfortable for you um so be sure to be delicate and only really cut the pieces off his face when you're sure that it's going to look fine and symmetrical <laughs> Yeah, the best advice I can give you for cutting the rest is probably to um, cut with your fingers, like not cut with your fingers, but have your fingers underneath so that you're sure that you're not cutting your dog. What I mean is um, if this is the hair and then you put your fingers here so that you're sure that you're not cutting him and then you just cut off above that. Because his uh, thick hair before um, now, I really did not know where his skin started and where his hair started. 
I really could not tell where <laughs> that transition was, so I was always pretty delicate and kind of, I'd rather cut off to less and then cut again rather than cutting up too much and then, you know, cutting him, which can be a pretty traumatic um, experience for him. Um, that he might even be scared next time around. But be sure to always give him lots of treats when you're cutting him. Yeah. Yeah. You might even do it during feeding time so that you can give him this meal as the treats. <laughs> But all puppies are pretty focused on food, so it shouldn't be a problem to have to have your puppy distracted with food, because they'll most likely, you know, go for the food and not for you cutting the scissors, you cutting with the scissors. But they sometimes might, you know, turn around and have a look what you're doing there, like, what's going on behind me? They might do that a few times and sometimes they might turn unexpectedly and do things like that so really be careful when you're cutting. <laughs> yeah. You might even just cut a little bit beforehand. Even if you're if you're planning on taking them to the, to the groomers, you might um, cut a little bit like the paws beforehand so that he gets used to the scissors and to cutting in general because then he'll have a better experience at the groomers because um, the first time you go to the groomers they might even they might not even um, cut your puppy but they'd rather you know introduce them to scissors and brushing and washing and all those things and you know um, blow dryers and things like that that make loud noises that can scare your puppy such as also trimmers which can make scary noises <laughs> Um, so you can tell uh, your groomer that you've already introduced to them to all those things and they might um, start cutting your puppy the first time around which can save you an extra trip and also gives you the option to cut your puppy yourself if you want to do that at some point because you'll have introduced him to those things in you know, a very positive way and not some stranger that's you know cutting your puppy and um, brushing and washing your puppy and when you're washing your puppy you have to you know uh, really touch him everywhere even his privates and face and stuff like that so that he knows that it's no problem and later he'll also let you touch him wherever uh, without a problem which is also good if you go to the vet and they're you know doing an annual checkup or anything like that See now he's very calm because he's focused on the food, which would pretty much be the ideal time to give him a new haircut. <laughs> yeah, you getting tired? Okay, now if you're ready to get a puppy and you have no idea about puppies, uh, you can check out my puppy crash course, which is linked down in the description. It's free to sign up. Um, you'll get a few emails telling you about how I went through, you know, choosing a puppy, choosing a puppy breed, how to choose an individual puppy that fits your lifestyle, and just all the first few things that you should know when you get a puppy. Um, and if you have no idea, that probably be good for you. Um, also includes, you know, a shopping list for all the essentials that you need when you get a puppy for the first time. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Say bye. Bye.